Hey everybody, Captain Alger here, and today I'm coming to you with a package from my buddy Drink and Games with Josh. So he sent me something uh, that I needed, and that I was interested in for a while, and uh, so we'll talk about that. But I figured, since this is from Drinking Games with Josh, we need to do this in the style of Drinking Games with Josh. And he always talks about a beer at the beginning of his, so we're going to do the same thing. So today I am bringing you Enigma 23 from New Glarus Brewing Company in Wisconsin. New Glarus, Wisconsin. So this is only available in Wisconsin, uh, but a lot of people come to Wisconsin for New Glarus stuff, specifically like their Spotted Cow, which is a cream ale, which is okay. Uh, it's not my favorite, but their Thumbprint stuff, like Enigma, the stuff they make once a year or every few years is always the best stuff. And so this is a Sour Red Flanders Ale, comes in at 5.5%. Ah, that is good. One of my favorite sours. In fact, this was the beer that got me into sours. My buddy Eric uh, had me try it, and I loved it. I actually wanted this at our wedding, but unfortunately it wasn't in season when uh, when Rachel and I got married. But it's very good. I've had this before. So this is from uh, this past uh, summer, I think it came out. And uh, I had it on tap at, uh, at uh, one of mine and my wife's favorite places to go. And then I found it in store and I was super excited because I haven't seen it for uh, you know a few years now. So this is very good. If you like sours, it's a way to go. But got to come to Wisconsin to get it. So let's go ahead, crack into this box, see what Josh sent us. And this is only supposed to be an NES game. This box is definitely heavier and bigger than an NES game should be. So I don't know what else he sent us, but uh, I'm excited. We got a note, we're gonna read that first. What's up, dude? Hope this package finds you well. Some fun to be had here for sure. Some of the Comerica games are just as good as the licensed stuff for sure. Included a couple of seasonal favorites for you to check out as well. Cheers, Josh, Drinking Game. So thank you, man. If you guys have not checked out his channel, definitely do so. Makes really good content, fun to watch. He's a good dude in the community. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited. So you already know it's a Comerica game. And it's the one I've been wanting. So first, before we get to that, we've got a couple stickers for Drinking Games with Josh. I've uh, I've been wanting to get some Captain Algebra st stickers, so i got to order some here before Midwest Gaming Classic, so I have some to give out. And then this is coming in a Drinking Games with Josh sleeve, so that's pretty, uh, pretty cool. It says, it's always happy hour. Let's get social. So definitely check out Josh on social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So pretty sweet dust leaves. I gotta get some more of those made for me too. But I got Quattro Adventure. So this has four games. It has Boomerang Kid, Super Robin Hood, the Tre uh, Treasure Island Dizzy, and Linus Spacehead. And so the reason I was really interested in this game is because a few years ago, uh, before the Renaissance went to Twitch, he was streaming Super Robin Hood and it looked like a really cool game. So recently, Josh had some pickups, and he picked up a bunch of Comerica games, and a lot of them were doubles, and one of them was these. And I just mentioned, like, hey, um, that's definitely one I've been looking for. I'm gonna have to keep uh, keep an eye out for it. Maybe this is the year I finally get it. And he just sent me a message, be like, hey, shoot me a DM, I'll get this game to you. So super cool, sent it to me for free. Um, Josh is just a super cool dude. So I'm excited to try all the games. I know the Dizzy games are pretty interesting. Eugene uh, recently streamed that uh, a month or two ago. But Super Robin Hood, I'm really excited. So I think we'll probably stream it, at least give it a shot on stream. They're the ones I really have no idea what they're gonna be. Uh, I know he mentioned he tried it out and uh, Linus Spacehead seemed fun too. So that should be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see what else we got in this box. We gotta put the game back in the sleeve though. We're gonna put that up behind us. There we go. Now you guys can't see that really good. We're gonna move it over there. Right by the Freak Toys Freak Toy sticker. All right, we got a bunch of bubble wrap. Let's see what else we got in here. So we have oh, some Nintendo Power Mints. That's awesome. That's very cool. Well, I mean, we gotta try that out now, right? I mean, I don't know how well beer and mints go together, but we gotta try it out. I'm gonna open this without spilling it, and there you go. So no like special uh, symbol or anything, they're just little round mints, but the tin is awesome, so as soon as I'm done with these mints, these will be going up on the shelf, because that's freaking awesome. We'll sit that up by 
Captain Algebra, Algebra bobblehead. Awesome. And then based on the bubble wrap and the wrapping, I'm thinking we're gonna have some beer in here, which is awesome. All right, so let's wrap, unwrap these carefully. All right, so first one, gotta get all the wrapping off of it. This is, it's like Christmas. This is awesome. All right, what we got first? Oh, nice. We got, I don't remember how to say the name, but Trogues, Tregs, Tregs, I don't know. I'm butchering it because I'm not from the East Coast, so I have had some stuff from this brewery. I have not had this one, though. Yeah, my buddy BK uh, gave me a bunch of stuff a few years ago at MoGameCon. So we've got the Mad Elf, which is a holiday ale brewed with cherries and honey. That sounds fantastic. So it is uh, a spicy uh, Belgian. It's 11%. It's got cherries. That sounds fantastic. Thank you so much, Josh. I'm looking forward to trying that out very soon. And then we've got another one here. Nice and slow. Don't want to break anything. Oh, Josh knows me well. I've been always commenting the type of styles of beer that I like whenever he's got one on the channel. And I always say, every season is stout season. I could drink a stout, doesn't matter if it's 90 degrees in the summer. I want a stout in my hand over any other style. So let's slowly open that up. And this is from uh, Pub Dog. Pretty cool, Pub Dog. And this is called, um, this is a chocolate oatmeal stout. Look at that can art, that is fantastic. Really, really cool. I do love myself some stouts, uh, especially oatmeal stouts. So this is a stout with cocoa nibs and vanilla beans. Think of this as your winter coat, thick, dark, rich, and robust for those cold winter days. Well, that is perfect because it had been pretty cold here in Wisconsin lately, but it's warmed up, but still need some uh, stouts to keep us, keep us warm. So there you go, that's awesome. I'm super excited to try those beers. I'm super excited to try that game. Thank you again so much, Josh. That's awesome, you didn't have to send me all this extra stuff, didn't have to send me the game for free. I was very willing to send him something for it, but he's a cool dude. De like I said, definitely check out his channel. And he does uh, pickups, he does video games monthly unboxings, and like I said, he's always got the little beer review at the beginning of his episodes, which is always fun. So I figured I had to do that too. So thanks again, Josh. Check, them out, uh, check him out, guys. And uh, until next time, this is Captain Algebra signing off. Cheers.